Um, I occasionally get phone calls from people that have property on smaller lakes in Wisconsin that they want to have walleyes in their lake. Well, you can have walleyes in your lake, but you're not going to have very many. Walleyes need a lot of food. They need a lot of forage. And the walleyes are not small water fish to begin with. Uh, I once saw a presentation by a research scientist that said the ideal lake, walleye lake in the state of Wisconsin would be somewhere around Wausau and it would be somewhere around 6,000 acres. And that would probably be the best walleye habitat range for walleyes and the best kind of body of water. If you have a, are on a lake that's maybe 200, 300 acres, you will have a walleye population. The big dilemma is where do they spawn? And how? what is the other fish population in, this, in the lake? Are there a lot of bass? Are there a lot of bluegills? Are there a lot of crappie? And are there a lot of perch? All of these eat little walleyes that may actually spawn in a small lake because most small lakes don't have suitable substrate. Uh, there was a study done on Big Crooked Lake up in Bylas County. It's about 400 acres. And they looked at, one year they looked at where the walleyes primarily spawn and out of the total shoreline, they only spawn on 5% of the shoreline. This is where they want to spawn. I mean, we, we have nothing to do. There's no way we can control where the walleyes are going to spawn. So the next year they went back and look to see how many eggs were deposited on what kind of substrate in those 5% five, 5 and what they found is walleyes prefer to spawn on, on substrate that's from the size of pea gravel, like the size of a, mar a small marble, up to about the size of your fist or a potato. And most lakes that are small lakes, you need, you need this, this substrate to be clean in order for the eggs to survive. Um, once an egg lands on a rock, if you get a real fast algae bloom, the eggs get encapsulated in filamentous algae, is what it's called, and they may, they may suffocate, but even if they don't suffocate, the little larvae can't get out of the algae. I mean, it's like going up through thick grass. Um, so I tell the story, I had a lady call me and say they had been stocking in their small lake uh, for the past 10 years, buying, you know, hatchery raised fish, which in our opinion are, are inadequate fish to begin with. Uh, and they had done this for 10 years and they weren't seeing any results. And she said, what can we do? And I said, stop stocking walleyes. Because after 10 years, it's pretty obvious for whatever reason, the habitat in that lake won't support a walleye population. So people, you know, you can spend a lot of money, you're talking two bucks on average for a, for a fall fingerling walleye now. Uh, you can spend a lot of money and not get any results and be frustrated at the end of the, end of the, the session and um, still looking for results. So our advocacy is you need to have a, a well thought out plan uh, if you do choose to try stocking walleyes or try to have walleyes spawn in your lake. You need really good quality shoreline to have them, st have them uh, spawn in the first place, but you need a plan. And without a plan, uh, chances are you're, you're going to realize failure in the long run.